I'm your host Mike Pugh of the FPC Virtual Channel and I really do apologize for being so close to the screen but I'm working on this makeup job and really trying to get this working. Um, this video is going to be all about getting your quality a lot better of your video. Whether you got to use makeup for your face or you have to use some sort of um, tool that you're using. I'm using the OBS tool and as you can see there's lines around my ear around here and you can see these squiggly lines and things like that. Um, that's what we're going to cover in this video. If y'all folks want to check it out, let's get it. Now, what I'm actually doing is I'm moving this OBS tool. So now y'all folks can see the line doesn't look that bad. All right. And then I'm going to pull myself back. Now I'm back a little bit further and you really barely can see the squiggly line. So what I want to do, I want to bring y'all folks into a fine tuned detail of how to improve your video, your quality of your video, your visual, your actual removal of your background while you're using OBS. And as you can see, I'm floating right here, right? So let's move it here and now it almost looks like I'm in this particular room if this is a room then I'm in a room it actually could pass as a stage performance of some sort or an introduction maybe a poetry type of slide a background um, things of that nature what I love to do with OBS the open broadcasting software studio is create differing scenes and talking about that I'll show y'all folks exactly what the benefits of having multiple scenes in OBS alright so this is one of my scenes that I worked on here this is a thumbnail so you can actually enhance the quality of your video thumbnails using the open broadcasting software studio but the key to it is learning how to remove that outer layer rim of your actual visual of your face your head whatever you have on your body basically it's the outer lining of the green screen background removal you really have to key in to the pixels and try to get much much more in depth to get rid of that actual pixel itself what I'm doing here this is just a different background just to show y'all folks you can play around with multiple scenes, multiple backgrounds while you're actually recording. I'm actually recording at this very moment. So you see it shows Facebook Live tutorials. Um, you can actually manipulate the scene, bring yourself into a smaller size. I enjoy doing that and maybe you can be showcasing something or talking to the audience or have another person on the other side record their session and do an interview as long as they do the recording with green screen behind them and send you the actual clip or maybe you send them your clip the interview could work that way as well and you can collaborate virtually without even having the person there I mean there's many different things that you can do you can even act out entire parts they can act out parts and you can join forces as long as you perform all of that stuff using green screen it's really amazing what you can do with OBS. Let's go to the next scene. This scene is one that I created for Facebook Live. We just now went from one level to another level of scenes. So I'm gonna show y'all folks how to work that out, how to build out your scenes so you can really, really stand out. And I think that's the key to working on YouTube as a video creator in terms of producing high quality videos. You really wanna work on your backgrounds and your scenes. And what it does, it really does bring out something fresh. It livens up the screen. It makes things more of a sensational feel to the viewership of your video. So when people are watching your video, they will definitely care to watch more just for the fact that you worked on the quality of your background, your visual, and also your audio. 
and OBS can help you with the audio as well. So I'll be bringing some of those tutorials very, very soon. I promised it. It should be landing probably in November. Right now, I'm working on a lot of stuff in October. So November 2017 will be the audio releases of differing tutorials, probably one to two tutorials, not really that many, or maybe even three, I'm not sure. But it's something that will work well for you folks who need audio transitional training. You know, you wanna transition into creating higher quality audio using just purely OBS. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna work on showing y'all folks the reveal on this stuff. So what I like to do with OBS while I'm doing my tutorials, I like to show y'all folks the real time stuff that I have to deal with. So what we're gonna do, we're going to remove the actual filter. Hold on one second, let me go in and get rid of the chroma key filter. And which one is it? Here we go. Around the rim, as you can see, around the rim is gonna be an issue. The rim of the hat, if you have a hat on or maybe your hair or around your ears, all the outer portions of your actual visual of your, your body. So what you have to keep in mind, we're gonna go in and I'm gonna use another editing tool to record so y'all folks can see the full thing that I'm showing you. Let's hit the stop. All right, so here we go. Now you're getting a chance to see the full thing. This is what I want y'all folks to see. This is the green background, right? I'm using a green screen. You can use a blue screen or a green screen. That's up to you. Now, what I have as the filters here, I have no audio filters, obviously. This is my video capture device. I don't really need that because I put an audio filter somewhere else. But I do have all these chroma keys that I was experimenting with. Um, just focus right now on the individual chroma key here in the center. I'm gonna check it, hit that uh, little eye, and as you can see, it's gonna disappear. Now, once it appears, as you can see, a little small green layer around my ear, right? So I don't wanna mess up that particular chroma key, so I'm gonna send it to the back and I'm gonna bring up this one so you can see the difference. As you can see with this chroma key, look at it, it doesn't look that good, right? So what's the difference? Let's go in and see what I did. Right here, I actually selected a color and this was from downstairs in the, in the um, living room. So how you select the color, you click select color here, pick, pick color on the screen, and you pick a particular color. Then you click okay. Now, I just made myself disappear right there, as you can see. Um, let's go with, instead of custom, let's go with green and bring the regular green back. Then go to custom and select like purple. That way you can see exactly what you're gonna select. So now this is the full green that people can see as my background. So we're gonna go in, let's move this down a little bit so y'all folks can start to see. We're gonna go in and click select color. We're gonna go pick screen color and then select the color this time again and then click OK. Now it's going a little bit deeper. Let's go to green and just select the green and try to remove the green. So you would have to move all the way back here to remove it. Now you're gonna have some issues with this key color spill reduction. If you go too far to the right, just try to cut out just a little bit of the green. You see the green there? Once you see the green disappear, I'm gonna show you, see the green disappeared? You can use that to remove the green a little bit. And then the smoothness will make those sharp edges kind of smooth. Let's go to similarity. See that? There you go. Now when you downsize it, 
Let's go to the video capture. When you bring down the scale of the video capture device, it's going to look a lot better. Let's go here. Look at that. All right. And now, let's get rid of the display capture and put it in the background. Look at that. That looks pretty dope. Now, the only thing that I notice is that it's a little white around the rims. So if you want to go back, you can reduce the smoothness a little bit and that will break out that white part. See that? Just a little bit. And that should give you really, really great quality that you're looking for. Hopefully that helps you a little bit. Um, the color that I'm wearing right here on my shirt, it's not working out too great, but I did much better on the lower chroma key, which is this one. As you can see, the color's gone. You have to play around with a lot of different settings for that particular thing if you have a certain color. I have a, something that looks almost green right here, so that's why it's trying to remove that pixel. But see how, how really good that looks? Let's go in and try that. And this one looks a little bit different because the contrast and the brightness and all that stuff is set at a different scale. So you can play around with contrast, brightness, all that, and try to get yourself in the best color scheme that you can get it to work on the quality there. See, I want the hat to be dark. If you want a little bit more light, you can push your hat up if you're using your hat. There you go. See that? So hopefully this helps you to improve your quality as well. Um, you just really got to play around, like I said, with those little fine tune adjustments. The reason why I scaled it out is because I want to see the edges. Now let's look at the edges and see exactly where it is. Um, sorry, that's the background. Let's get this back here. You can grab the corners to look at the edges as well. Now look at it. Look at the edges now. I'm moving closer to the actual camera. And look at that. That removed pretty much every little thing in detail. So if you move your head closer and closer to the camera and then try to manipulate the pixels, you can do it like that to get rid of all the pixels as much as you could as well. And that should help. So hopefully y'all folks like this video. This is just an in-depth training on getting into the finer tuned details of removing pixels. A little bit more extensive than my previous video that I did. If y'all folks didn't see the previous one, you could hit in the upper right corner. There's a little tiny eye that should be there. If y'all folks are novice to OBS, I'll put another video in the bottom of this video's description area and a playlist for y'all folks to get to the OBS tutorial sessions that I have. I actually created an archived playlist on my channel. So there you go, Joe Evan Peace Talk, Mike Peace signing off. I'll see you in the next tutorial sessions for OBS. Hopefully you're willing to tune in. And hey, keep creating out there, keep working on your content. You shall definitely improve over time if you work on it. You have to stay consistent at working on your videos, the background, the actual audios, the lighting, all that stuff. The very next video, I'm going to show you my setup in this room that I'm in. It's really awesome. You could do it in your bedroom. Um, I have blue walls, light blue walls, and they don't look that great. I'm using a lamp that I was using downstairs in the living room, and I'm using the green screen behind me. It's actually being stood up by the bed. I'm using a, a wall of plaster, and I put a green fabric on it. So you can actually see the green fabric. Let me um, get rid of the chroma key. Before I actually end this session, I want to show y'all folks. I got multiple layer chroma keys too. I wanted to play with that just to see what I could do. All right, so this is that. Um, you can see in my room here, got the baby thing. This used to be a baby room. We didn't finish working on it, but it's 
just wanted y'all folks to see that was my old room setting that I had before and I really really went hard and worked on it but it wasn't in my room at first I was downstairs working on it in um, the sunroom there's another room that's being occupied now by one of my cousins and then the living room that was a transitional phase I moved into the living room but it's too much noise down there so to avoid from having to deal with all that noise I had to move back up into my room and now the setup is just amazing as you can see back there you got a little shadow right back there right the shadow could be something that affects your background removal as well so you want to mess around with the light and move the light at different angles see I'm moving the lamp this is the lamp right here I just did a video about it so check that out if you want to learn how to do it it's in the bottom of the videos description area or that eye that was up there you can click that still and get to it you can also um, check out my next video that I'm gonna be doing showcasing this whole setup so that y'all folks can get that to you know render the best quality possible while you're trying to create these videos um, other than that I'm out of here this is the background scenes and transitional phases of getting into the scenes and that was the beginning part that I started the video on with doing that overlay um, you you being overlaid on top of a really awesome background that you can find maybe from pixabay.com that would actually help you to go further I have another video regarding copyright that I created prior to this and I'm gonna be bringing that for y'all folks as well who are looking to work on these scenes working on creating YouTube videos to be a YouTube creator if you want to go further as a YouTube creator using the OBS software, or OBS Studio, it's, it's a really, really awesome series that I'm going to be working on. A lot of this is coming in November and in 2018. So um, the copyright series will definitely be a solid one starting November, but much more thorough in 2018, the early part of 2018. I really do plan on putting that out there and making it a success. I'm also going to be bringing back the YouTube Crash Course series. This OBS series is a spinoff from the YouTube Crash Course series, but it's going to steer back into the Crash Course because YouTube right now is being regenerated. They actually are rebuilding YouTube from the ground up, creating much more higher level, skilled, pinpoint, accurate um, UI, user interface. The details of how to use the unit user interface I'm gonna really work on that I'm gonna to try to make it as presentable as possible so more viewers can actually benefit more youtubers can benefit and more people can actually understand what they're doing I like to get extensive into my detail and that's a little bit different from a lot of other creators they may want to create short tail videos a lot just to fit into a certain time that they feel their their actual viewers want to watch but I don't think about that I think about what the viewer is going to gain from my videos and um, how far can you go by learning the most and maximizing that particular knowledge base so you can go further so that's what I'm into doing other than that I'm out of here love and peace to all and Mike Pew is signing off hopefully you like these videos and feel free to hit the thumbs up feel free to subscribe feel free to do all the things that you do on YouTube create stay consistent etc and um, yeah you can hit that thumb up as well the, the little notification button if you want to get all the notifications of these you know new videos that are coming out definitely hit that that bell and that will get you my latest and I'm out of here peace